Hi everybody and welcome to my fortnightly sky update on the occasion of the full moon in Leo which is happening tomorrow on the 5th of February 2023 at about 5.40pm uh, UK time so just adjust that time to your time zone. Well I feel pretty good about the sky actually. First of all, the moon it being in Leo, um, it feels quite good anyway. And when it um, is squaring that Uranus, I just feel like there is a kind of electric feeling and a kind of a shock feeling to the nervous system. It's really, I think, something that perhaps we need after so much Saturn energy throughout Aquarius season and there's been quite a lot of Pluto involvement as well which I just feel like we need a jolt to get us breathing fresh air and I really feel like this is what this full moon is doing. Now the moon in Leo being a solar a uh, ruled moon is really interested in uh, being the main character and is really in, interested in expressing itself authentically, especially with that Uranus square. There really is going to be a, a kind of uncompromising feeling of expressing one's own creativity and one's own authentic self and also really um, not giving a damn about what anyone thinks of it. It's a need within yourself. It's a need for you to feel like you're filling your own personal destiny. I think that when we're all in this social media world, it becomes apparent that, you know, no, your creativity is never as important to anybody as it is to you. But I feel like under this influence, there's a realisation that that's all that matters. That what the point is that you are expressing something, an energy that is unique to you. And it really doesn't matter who's watching. The sun goes on shining whether or not anybody is there to see it and it continues giving out this creative energy no matter what. Now the sun demands worship and it demands um, to be seen but that is a different matter. It goes on nevertheless and even if you are the only person to witness it, you are the universe witnessing its own unique spark of creativity. So I feel like this is a very important theme this weekend with that uh, sun-moon opposition um, squaring Uranus and I really feel like it's going to be a moment of maybe shedding anything uh, about ourselves that is fettered by social expectations and actually just being ourselves. And of course with Leo, uh, with the moon being in Leo, it's really important to play and enjoy life. Leo is all about experiencing things. That's really the whole point. It just wants to experience life. And I think that's an important theme for the next things that I'm going to be talking about. So also, um, this weekend and um, all next week, we've got Venus and Mars squaring each other. Venus is in extremely romantic Pisces. Uh, Venus really couldn't be in a more romantic position than Pisces. So that's uh, pretty uh, 
happy news. And Mars is in Gemini still, as he's been for a while. And so these two, whenever they get together, whether it's in a harmonious angle or a conflicting angle, they're just kind of meant for each other. So even when they're in a square and there's some frustration, that just creates energy and excitement. So there could be something heating up between uh, lovers with this, um, with this particular square. Um, or, you know, even uh, in uh, relationships that are well established, there can be an energizing of uh, those relationships. New energy and a little bit of playful friction that helps heat things up. Well, that is, um, as we head towards uh, Valentine's Day, that's very welcome. And even more welcome is the fact that Venus is going to be cozying up to Neptune. So Venus in Pisces, Neptune's sign, cozying up, getting really conjuncting Neptune. Um, it will be at its most exact the day after Valentine's Day, but on Valentine's Day, it's it's pretty much as close as it can get. So maybe for once, Valentine's Day will be um, just as romantic uh, as as it should be. Um, I think it's uh, important when, if you want to get into the spirit of things this Valentine's Day, just remember, you know, to um, be authentically romantic and um, you do things you generally genuinely enjoy not things that um, you think may be expected of you I Pisces very much enjoys um, romance that is uh, felt rather than set up prepared uh, uh, in a in a way that maybe you think would be expected. And people who have laid water signs in particular will also, uh, so anybody with late Scorpio, late Pisces, obviously, um, late Cancer can expect to uh, to enjoy that and anybody with planets in the late mutable signs so that's late Virgo, late Pisces, late Gemini and late Sagittarius can all expect to be uh, <laughs> particularly influenced by that romantic uh, Venus-Neptune conjunction and that should be fun now we all know that um, well, some of us know at least that uh, Venus and Neptune is not always to be trusted, particularly in Neptune's own sign, Pisces, because there can be a lot of illusion uh, involved and delusion potentially. But, you know, it's a fleeting influence for God's sake. And I just think, you know, with this moon in Leo, we need to just... Uh, experience life and enjoy ourselves and at any rate the sun is going to be getting closer again to Saturn by the end of the next week by by the end of uh, by Friday the 10th meaning that those hard that hard work and those responsibilities are going to be intensifying again and that's going to go on throughout the week following and um, particularly for those with uh, Planets at the end of the fixed signs, so that's Aquarius, obviously, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. So you're going to be landing firmly back in reality at any rate in the week following. And you're going to be back to, to work and responsibilities and you will most likely uh, if this is uh, hitting you that Saturn contact you you will most likely have the spirit and the uh, motivation required 
to accomplish those tasks. If you're, you know, if you're inclined to work with Saturn and everybody who knows me as an astrologer knows that I always advise you to work with Saturn even when you don't feel like you want to. Otherwise, you're just going to feel oppressed by him and punished by him. So it's always my advice to just get with the program whenever he's around. And that will be continuing up until the new moon in Pisces, at which point I will be doing another video. So I really hope that you enjoy these exciting um, and fun um, interplanetary aspects for the time being. Have a wonderful weekend this weekend. Enjoy the full moon. Enjoy expressing yourself. Enjoy playing. You need it. Get a breath of fresh air, refresh yourselves and uh, be unapologetically yourselves and don't and let the haters hate and then enjoy the romance. That is my advice. Take care. Thank you for being with me.